Build and Stream presents the 2013 Heroes of Conservation. We selected six finalists and Toyota will award $5,000 to each hero and a new Toyota Tundra to the winner in September. Hey, I'm Eddie Nickens, Editor-at-Large for Field and Stream Magazine. A Yellowstone cutthroat trout is a marvel to behold. Tragically, the introduction of non-native lake trout into Yellowstone Lake has decimated that ecosystem's signature fish. Five years ago, however, Heroes of Conservation finalist Dave Sweet took the reins of a program called the Save the Yellowstone Cutthroat Campaign. Now, thanks to a passion and an energy as wild and as wide as Wyoming itself, there's a great chance that this massive fishery is leaping back to life. I work with thousands of volunteers, and out of all of them, Dave stands out as someone who's always passionate and always ready to go the extra mile to make a difference. <laughs> Dave, you are exactly right. This is what people think about when they think of Yellowstone. What's really the iconic species in that park it is this fish right here. This Yellowstone cutthroat trout is a beautiful, beautiful fish. My goal and my project has been to try and save this iconic population of Yellowstone cutthroats up there. Well, it's very important that that species comes back because they are the native trout of uh, this entire region. The most significant population in Yellowstone Lake has been reduced to somewhere between five and 10% of its historic level. Now Sweet travels from tiny Wyoming ranch towns all the way to the offices of the National Park Service, rallying support and volunteers for an extraordinary effort. Net adult lake trout in Yellowstone Lake, insert tiny transmitters into these fish and follow them to their spawning grounds. There are no other prey species for those lake trout to eat, so they're eating the cutthroat and have been eating them for about 20 years. What I've been mostly involved in, which is the telemetry study, to uh, try to determine where these lake trout go around in the system. And that's going to allow the Park Service to actually uh, do a better job of netting the lake trout out of the system. He's been instrumental in raising awareness and support for some of the research that we're doing here. Without his support, we probably would not have raised the funds to do the telemetry study. I think it's pretty amazing that Dave is willing to tackle a big issue. Many people, when they talk about the lake, it's just a scary big issue. How do you ever win this? And Dave has been resolute that we can indeed solve this problem. Today, we're gonna to go up on a plane and fly over this because it's the only way to see it. This is Ray Lee. Ray is with uh, Lighthawk and has donated uh, a flight this morning for us. Every tributary, every little creek, every piece of water we're seeing below us, that's native cutthroat country. It's native cutthroat country. There are 30-some creeks and streams that flow into this lake. All of them are populated by Yellowstone cutthroats. What impacts that cutthroat in the lake impacts all of this country and all of this fishery. As many as 42 wildlife species rely on Yellowstone cutthroats as a food source, from grizzly bears to otters to osprey. Bringing back the cutthroats will help bring back the wild to America's iconic western landscape. He's so passionate and dedicated because he really believes in it and, and wants this population of cutthroat to come back. For Sweet, there's more at stake on Yellowstone Lake than the fate of a cherished trout. Restore this native fish and you restore a new generation of anglers who will rally and fight and work for the wild. That's Dave Sweet's vision. That's the vision of a hero of conservation. On the next webisode, Dave and I go straight to the source of the problem. We'll crew a research vessel pulling non-native lake trout from the depths of Yellowstone Lake. 
This is where it begins, one fish at a time.